Hello friends, this is Pankaj and you are watching AEM Tutorial. In this video, I am going to talk about how you can manage and organize digital assets in Adobe Experience Manager. What is an asset? An asset is a digital document like an image, video or audio file and it can have multiple renditions and have sub-assets. Sub-assets like uh, slides in a PowerPoint. It's a binary file that includes metadata, renditions and sub-assets. What we want to do is jump into Adobe Experience Manager and look at how we can add assets to it and how we can edit those assets and asset properties. Let's jump into an Adobe Experience Manager and here go to this assets. Within assets go to the files. Now here what I want to do, I want to create a folder. So click on create, go to the folder and let's create a folder named demo. Click on create. So it will create a folder for us, which is called demo. Go into it. Now I want to put my images within this folder called demo. So I can upload the images by two ways. First way is I can click on create and I can click on files. From here I can select a file. So I will select a file and uh, I will click on upload. So this is the first way of uploading an image and the second way is to drag and drop the file. What we can do, we can directly drag and drop the image into our AEM. So this way you can, so this is the second way of uploading. So here you can see in the top, it is processing an image. AEM is doing is processing the image in its default workflow. And that default workflow which is running behind the scene is DAM asset workflow. Let me refresh this. It must be processed now. So here you can see the image has been processed and it is showing the thumbnail. And the workflow dam asset workflow this workflow creates different renditions or sizes of an asset let me show you this if i click on this image it will show a different screen that contains some actions up here and if i click on this icon on the left so it will show different it will show these properties and if i click on the renditions here it will show the different renditions which are available of this image so we have the thumbnails, we have the web image and we have this original. Let me select this original image. And after this, you can click on edit to edit this image. It will open the AEM editor. Here you can do your editing. Suppose I can crop the image. For example, I'm taking two by three ratio. So you can crop the image and once you click the confirm, it will it will crop the image and also you can do you, you can undo this image also and similarly you have different options for example rotation you can read the image and you can flip it this way and once your editing is done you can click on confirm so this way after editing the image has been saved and like pages images also have a series of properties that you can control so you can click here to view the properties it will bring me a property screen. So here we have different tabs available, basic, advanced, IPTC. Here in the basic tab, we have metadata, things like title and description of image. And you can also schedule the activation and deactivation of the image from here. And in the advanced tab, we have licensing, we have the ratings in the form of stars. We have this IPTC, which is International Press Telecommunication Council, which provides more metadata and it's extension, camera data, product data and then we have insights also so these are the properties available for an asset you can click on cancel and you can also delete an image or other assets from here all you need to do is just select this after selecting this click on this three dots and here we have an option of deleting this so you can click on this delete it will ask you to whether delete this asset or not. Once you click on delete, it will delete the image from here. You can manage or organize your digital assets in Adobe Experience Manager. If you enjoyed this video, subscribe my channel, like this video and share this with your friends. Thanks again for watching.